Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how you can create a handwriting effect like this one for free. This cool effect shows text on screen appearing as if it was written on by hand. It's really effective with fancy fonts like this one. Sometimes it's called a write on text effect. In this tutorial you'll be shown how to create this and then later this. It's done with two free open source programs. One is GIMP, a graphics editor. Two is Shotcut, a video editor. Before you start, download and install both programs. You will also need the font Alex Brush installed. This is easy to do, search, download, then copy the TTF file into your fonts folder in Windows. It's free for personal use. When you have perfected this technique, you will be able to use any font of your choice. Ok, let's get started. To begin, create a project folder. Place this in a convenient location on your computer. Then open GIMP. Go to File, then New. Type in 1920 and 1080. These are the dimensions in pixels of a video screen in high definition. Now this white rectangle now represents a full HD screen. I'll save this project. GIMP files have the extension .xcf. I'm going to change the colour of this viewing screen to blue. Blue is not essential, it could be a different colour. I just want a darker colour here to contrast with white text I'm about to add. Now change the foreground colour to blue by clicking here, OK, and use the bucket tool to change the colour. Next, select the text tool and create some text. I'm going to type in the word Christmas, double click it to make it turn yellow and change the text colour to white. Now change the font to Alex Brush and make it 300 pixels large. Actually I want it to be 400 pixels large change my mind. Now select the move tool and drag the text to the center. Tip here you must select part of the white text itself otherwise nothing will move. Now select the select by color tool. Go back to the text and click on any part of it. The text is surrounded by an animated dotted line. This is often called marching ants. Now go to select then down to Grow and choose Grow Selection by one pixel. This makes sure all the text area is selected. Next go to Layer, then New Layer and create a new transparent layer. Make sure Transparency is selected. You will see the new layer in the Layers panel. Next select the Brush tool Select this circle to give the brush tip a hard edge. And there are some more important settings to make to the brush tool. Click here and select colour from gradient. Click on this plus sign and type in a figure of 10,000 pixels for the fade length. Next change the foreground colour back to black. Click here to show the gradient going from white to black. Now zoom in slightly. Keyboard shortcuts for these are shift and plus to zoom in and minus to zoom out. And centre the text in the viewing area. The next step is to draw over the text with the brush tool. Start from the right hand side and work backwards. 
the brush size should be just a little larger than the width of the text. Never let go of the mouse button. When the brush tip goes over the text edges onto the blue background, it will be stopped by the marching ants. Paint over one letter at a time. A gradient colour is applied to the line you draw from white to black. If you go wrong, stop, select undo and try again. Remember, never let go of the mouse button. For the letter C, start from the bottom part and paint round to the top. When you've finished, release the mouse button and finally paint over the dot of the eye. There may be parts where you didn't fill in the text correctly, leaving gaps. Zoom in, locate the problem spots. And use the clone tool to fill them. To use the clone tool, place the tip over the part of the text you want to clone Control click, this copies the contents of the tip. Then move the tip and left click to paste in the colour to a new position. I've speeded up this bit. Now tidy up parts of the text which intersect. There we are. Zoom out and center the text. Next, go to the Layers panel and click on the eye icons of both layers below the top layer. The background becomes transparent. Next, go to Colors, then Levels. Tweak the middle arrow, slide it to the right. The idea here is to darken the gradient to the text so as to make it as uniform as possible from dark to light. Next, export this as a PGM file. A PGM file is a portable grey map file. Video editors use PGM files, also known as Luma files, to create transitions. Do this via file, then export as. You'll need to change the extension to .pgm. Change it by deleting the extension and typing .pgm. Also select RAW here or it won't work. Now go back to the Layers panel, deselect the eye icon and select the one for the layer below. Then export this layer as a PNG file. A PNG file is a graphics file which can have a transparent background. We want ours to have a transparent background. Again, change the extension by typing .png. Click export and use the default values. Save this GIMP file and that's the end of our work in GIMP. The next step is to open Shotcut. I'm using version 18.11.13, November 2018. Always use the latest version. Now open file, navigate to the project folder, locate the PNG file I made in GIMP, click open and it appears in the viewer. The black background behind the text is actually transparent. Now click the viewer and drag to the timeline. Add another video track. Make the track shorter in height. Then click, hold and slide to the right. Extend the clip. Then open a new transparent clip. To do this, open other color. Again, the transparent clip looks black in the viewer. Now click here. Type O for out point and drag to the timeline. Extend and position the clip. Slide the PNG clip here 
and drag it over to create a transition. A transition in Shotcut is shown by a purple block with diagonal lines. Play the transition. Keyboard shortcut is the spacebar. And the Christmas text fades in. This is because the default transition is a dissolve. To confirm this, with the transition purple box selected, go to properties and then go up here and notice it says dissolve. However, we want a write on effect. So navigate down the list and select custom. This will open up your project folder. Select the PGM file we created earlier and click open. Now play the transition again and this happens. Woohoo! A right on effect! I'm going to shorten this transition slightly, then go to softness and reduce it to zero. Play the transition again and there's no blurring. And there you have it, a really nice write on or revealing text effect. It's easy to change the speed or rate of the text animation. To speed it up, drag the right hand edge to make the box smaller. The smaller the box, the faster the effect. And to make it slower, drag to make the box larger. Next, resize the box back to its former size. Then go to Open Other, then Color, and select a color. Click here and type O for out point, then drag the screen to the timeline. Drag to position it and drag the edge to make it larger. Notice the blue color shows through the transparent clip above it. Often though you may find that the transition does not appear in the middle section and this screen is just blue and the text appears when the playhead reaches here. If that happens, go to Filters, click on the plus icon, type CHROM and select the chroma key simple filter. Click above the transition box, then select the eyedropper. Click on any black part of the screen and it will make the background transparent. The transition will now work properly with the blue colour showing through. Now delete the blue colour clip. Go to export and export the video as a QuickTime animation. You can see the progress of the export here. While it exports, here are two important facts about QuickTime animations. One, they are video files with the extension .mov. And two, unlike MP4 files, they can have a transparent background. Now, when complete, close down Shopcut, then open it again. Go to Open File. Find the .mov file you just exported, open it, and drag it to the timeline. Add a new video track and move it up to the top track. Then go back to Open Other, Color, and drag another color clip to the timeline. And check it works. It does. The purple color shows through the transparency. Next I shall delete the colour clip. I want to replace the colour clip with a nice Christmassy video. Close Shotcut and head to YouTube. Now search for Christmas scene. Choose one and enlarge it to full screen. 
The next stage is to capture the video screen. There are many video capture programs available. I recommend ShareX, which is completely free. Now, when the capture is finished, import the video back into Shotcut. Position it on track 1 and preview. Hey, looking good! Nearly finished, just a few more things to do. Add another video track and change the colour of the text. Now, to do this, I add a colour grading filter. By tweaking this circle, you can change the colour dramatically. And finally, I import the .mov file again, swap them over, and apply a size and position filter to the lower one. Then I drag the centre button to move the text slightly to the right and down. Position carefully, play and it gives a nice 3D effect to the text. I would like the effect to be a little faster, so I go to Properties, Speed and I increase both clips to twice speed. And here is the result. It's looking really nice, but I noticed there is unwanted text on the background video. To remove this, I apply a rotate and scale filter and increase the scale to 126%. To make the Christmas text start early in the video, I do a bit of trimming of clips. and a bit of repositioning. I add a fade in to the background video. To do this, double click the black flashing circle. Trim the clip once more. Add a fade out and preview by hitting space. Actually, I need it a bit shorter. Selecting each clip and pressing O, out point, will trim the end of the clips. And I think that's it. Go to Export and export the video as an MP4. Done. Here's the final result. Thanks for watching.